Hi and welcome back to Bike Speed. So this week we're going to service this Boardman SLR Pro. Lovely bike on SRAM. We're going to change the cassette and the chain on this one. We're also going to change the bottom bracket and actually sort out quite a major fault with that bottom bracket which could apply to all these bikes potentially. And we're just going to detail the frame as well on this one with a ceramic coating and a few of our little details that we do along the way. So here you can see as I was doing the assessment on the bike, we've got a bit of play in this bottom bracket. A little bit of travel in the bear in there so I need to address that when I service the bike and you can see there the chain is more than worn out so I also need to address that by changing the chain and the cassette with this one you can see here as I bunch up that chain how much wear is in that chain that is absolutely life extinct but there's no need to change the chain set on this I don't think it's going to skip over there I often recommend to my customers just do the chain and cassette and if they get a skipping issue we'll address it but there's no need to often spend all the money on a chain set as well so i'm going to strip this bike down so this is what you can see me doing here that's the old cassette there we are going to replace that like for like with a new one we don't do a lot of shram so we don't often stop all the parts for these but in this instance we had the parts to sort this bike out so we're going to clean up these derailleurs you can see here it's not too bad a little bit of grime just needs cleaning up and re-lubricating so that it travels nicely in the future and changes gear nicely so i'll get both those components front and rear derailleur off you can see there again a little bit dry a little bit grimy it would benefit from the cleanup so you can hear there how that bottom bracket is very very noisy so we do need to address that but when we were putting the new one back on you'll be amazed what we found it is quite astounding really what we found with that bottom bracket so here the chain sets off now so that's ready for cleaning and I'm just going to use a extractor to remove the bottom bracket cup and bearing itself so out that comes one side extract it the other I try to avoid using hammers and things on bottom brackets especially with carbon frames like this so you can see in there it's grimy and that's going to tell us a little story further down the line when we put the new bottom bracket in there so I'm going to remove the brakes now now you can see here the thumb adjuster completely seized on that rear brake great reason to have a service in itself we can now adjust the brake after this service which we couldn't have done on the side of the road with the way that brake adjuster was already seized on the bike so i'm going to take the front brake off as well you can see there again much same story as the derailleurs very dry they need cleaning and lubricating and that will make them work more efficiently once the service is complete now we are detailing this frame so we're taking the bottle cages off which you just saw there and then i'm going to now strip down all the components that I'm going to put through the ultrasonic cleaner and determine what I'm going to clean and what I'm going to do by hand and get everything cleaned up so I'll put that in the ultrasonic cleaner for around about 15-20 minutes and then I wash off that degreaser with the nice soapy water there because this is a water soluble degreaser that I'm using so I'm making sure all these components are nice and clean before I begin lubricating them. Chain set I didn't put this in the ultrasonic cleaner I'm just going to do that with warm soapy water and our detailing brush there it's a nice nylon bristle brush so it's perfect for this kind of work and then the jockey wheels themselves I'm just using a little bit of cleaner on there on the rag spray the rag clean the jockey wheels off they have bearings inside those so I wanted to make sure they were clean without disturbing those bearings and the oil and grease that's inside those they're now ready to go back together so we'll get this derailleur back together a little bit of Loctite on those pivots as well to make sure they don't come undone and then I'm going to lubricate them so we're using a premium grease on the spring and a nice thin general purpose oil on the pivot points of the actuators so that that's all correct and it's a similar process with the front derailleur a nice thin oil on the pivot points premium grease on the spring just to make sure that everything there is okay same on the rear brake but with this one we're just going to use a little bit of silicon grease on this slider here so that that actuates nicely as well all these greases you can buy on our website we do a pack of five and we also do these individually for refilling or if you just want one or two of them so do check out our website we've got some other little gems we're going to be using in this video as well which i'll mention along the way now i'm going to torque up this chain set it's much easier to do it on the bench than on the bike and as you can see there a few of these bolts are actually loose so that it was worthy of doing that in itself and next up i'm going to wash down and detail this frame so initially i'm just using a soap wash and warm soapy water to wash this bike down and then I'm going to dry it fully off with a microfiber towel before I'd actually go to the detailing so you can see there I'm washing it down with our big softy nylon brush and we go right over the frame 
and also we're going to clean in that bottom bracket area which will reveal this problem that we found when we put the bottom bracket in also i had a little bit of sticker residue on there so i'm going to clean that off it was an old race sticker i would imagine if there are stickers or race stickers i don't tend to take those off because they often tell a story to the rider but when there's just residue like that i'll clean it down next up i'm going to use the auto glim super resin polish on this frame it's a lovely polish for this kind of work again we sell that on our website it will really get off all the grime that's on that frame and will absolutely make this frame absolutely reflect and pop out and also offers quite good protection as well so you'll see as i buff this down now how we begin to get that reflection on that lovely gloss finish on this carbon frame a lovely silver paint on this one and then once we've done that i'm going to ceramic coat this one with our ceramic spray with this you don't want to use too much you just a little splash of, of spray and then a nice microfiber towel this will protect the frame with that ceramic layer and it will make the bike a little bit more waterproof and a little bit hardier towards mud and debris now i did notice with this frame we've got these skin marks inside the chain stays there where obviously the tire has just caught that once or twice and we do do again on our website we do these vinyl sticker protection stickers we do these in various colors silvers blacks whites clear all sorts of different colors on the website so do check those out and may have your color there and we put those on and they protect that paint protect that area from future damage and you can always peel these off and put another one on as they wear through rather than wearing your frame out or wearing your paint out when you've got a little rub like that so again we did the forks on both sides as well next up i'm going to wash the wheel down now with this one there was a couple of things i noticed which is why i like to wash a wheel down I almost always find something that's wrong with a wheel every time I wash one down. Wheels are also the cause of so many problems for a bike. It's worth giving them that little bit extra time. Now I grease the hub. I see these seized all the time. So it really helps me to take the set off next time I need to. Then I torque that up. So this is drive side. And you can see here that the tire is actually rotating the incorrect way round for the bike. So I'm going to remove that tire. I'm going to turn it over so that it's actually rotating the correct way and then i'm also going to line up the mavic logo with the tire and the detailing on the wheel and the valve itself so that it all looks nice when it's on the bike we're presenting the bike back to the customer so you can see there the mavic logos are now perfectly aligned which is an absolute essential detail for me now this is the bottom bracket i noticed the cup on the original bottom bracket was distorted you can see there that's the bolt that holds the cable guide under the frame now that was probably put in from factory and then this was probably just rammed in over the top of it and you can see there the distortion in this cup this is quite a firm abs cup this could have even been the cause of the failure of the bearing with that twist in that cup it may have altered the seat in position of the bearing itself i can only speculate on that you'll also see some under rotation marks on the chain set itself when i put that back in could have well been caused just by this incorrect screw in the bottom of the cable guide there so you can see there i've replaced that with a short one so that the bearing cup itself will now clear that without any problems with it distorting or not fitting correctly in the frame so i'm going to press in that new bottom bracket which is a mega problem solved yeah we've removed a big problem there and that potentially is on every one of these bikes because why would you replace that screw it just seems a very odd one to me that the chances are they're all like that so we talk up that chain set adjust the preloader on the bearing get the derailleurs back on so first of all one goes the front one now with the front derailleur i always talk this up and get this to the correct specs before i actually do any of the adjustments on it to make sure it's right where the rest of the bike I will often put things on pinch tight check they're all okay and working and then talk them up at the end which you'll also see so check that derailleur hangers tight get the derailleur on now i'm also here i'm lubricating the thumb adjuster for the rear derailleur because like that brake you saw when i took that off these are very prone to bonding into the derailleur itself so you always want to be able to adjust your bike i always want my customers to be able to adjust their bikes as they're riding them and as they're doing the miles and greasing of things like these thumb adjusters is preventative maintenance to stop that bike bonding and sticking together and corroding and it helps long term with my servicing and also customers for adjustments on bikes as they're moving along so in goes the front brake and a similar story with this one 
I shall lubricate the thumb adjuster. So all the adjusters now on the bike are lubricated. So I'm quite happy with that now. And we'll get that on and we'll get that brake adjusted and we'll get the wheels on and make sure that our adjustments are all correct. And then once we've done that, we can then move through the bike with the torquing. So on go those wheels now. I'm now going to put on the brand new chain. So this is a SRAM chain. We've kept everything like for like on this one. So we've got the new cassette and new chain, which was exactly what the bike had on it. Before I put the bottle cages back on, I've just put a little bit of copper grease into the threads that those bolts are going into. Again, just to stop them bonding and sticking in the future so that accessories can be changed. So now I'm adjusting the rear derailleur. It needed a small high screw adjustment. And then also I checked the front derailleur. They both work perfectly up and down. This SRAM group set has a lovely click to the shifters. It's completely different to the Shimano. And it's a very nice positive shift on these. I quite like these, although I've never actually ridden a SRAM bike myself. but. I do like them from a mechanical feel point of view. They're a lovely group set for that. And now we're gonna start our talking process. We run right through the bike, front to back when we service a bike. We check every nut and bolt that we can physically get to or see, so that we make sure everything's right. And I'm also gonna line up that FSA logo there on the bearing cap itself. Nothing more irritating than that slightly off center to me. I like to line that up with the stem. That's the sort of thing that if I was riding this bike, I would have noticed and it would get on my nerves. So I do just do things like lining those up as well. So I'd like to thank this rider for lending us this bike. It's very much appreciated when customers do lend us a bike for filming, because we do tend to keep them just a little bit longer with the filming process. And this bike was no different. And we do appreciate all the customers who will lend us a bike for a YouTube video. I'd also like to thank anyone who's recently subscribed to the channel the channel is growing rapidly and we're very very pleased with the way it's going so that's this boardman finished you can see the difference we made to this one the real problem solved were inside the bike but it's still detailed up the great please do subscribe if you enjoyed this one and drop us a comment about it also tell us what you think about that bottom bracket area i hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you again next week bye for now